My name is Hajar Chanas. I want to give you some three crucial fixes that you will need to implement starting today and you will start to see some results. So stay with me through this video because I'm just going to go through some things that really impacted me through my journey and times where I was stuck. So I've been in this position. This is me in this position, didn't know how to diet, having trouble to build muscle mass and really gain any sort of mass whatsoever for many years. So here's a little bit just on my story up here. You can see I was literally a skinny, scrawny guy and I was really struggling to actually build some muscle and some mass. So this is me even trying to train and I've implemented training from this point on and spending at least about four to five years. And I'll be honest with you, I gained not even an inch of muscle whatsoever. And I pretty much looked the same five years later on. It was only when I started to research and put my passion in into fitness and going into being a personal trainer that I really started to gain a lot of knowledge and started to see from experience and speaking to a lot of big professionals and from that point on I managed to understand and how to build muscle and make life a lot more simpler and how to diet as well. So this is what happened eventually when I only spent just another few years doing the right things and eating the right way, training the right way, I managed to bring my physique for which I couldn't even shift for five years and suddenly in about three years I was in this particular physique position. So how do I do it guys? I'm just going to give you a three crucial fixes first to go with that will definitely you can implement into your training starting today and I guarantee you, you will start to see some results. Let's go and jump in to the first crucial fix that I can give you. First one is, is the weight training itself. So your workouts, what are you doing with your workouts? I know time and time you're going in and you're working out. You may put a workout together, you may not, you may follow a plan, you're lifting, you think you've got to lift really heavy to gain some muscle mass and you're really pushing yourself and you're literally giving your heart out to the training and you're still going to find that you're not getting any results. So if that's you, the reason for that is that you may be spending too much time in the gym, you may be spending somewhere around an hour and a half, two hours or more in the gym and not having the right plan of action as well on the type of training that you are doing because sometimes you may focus on certain areas of muscles and some particular exercises and what you're really finding is that they're probably not the largest part of the muscles to actually give you a great body structure so you can really fill out, lean out and create some nice broadness onto your upper body. One of the things is with workouts, you tend to emphasize too much on the particular workout, thinking that if you lift heavy weights, you constantly progress, get a little bit stronger, and that's probably most of the things that you'll ever see is that you get stronger, but you just don't see any visual change in the mirror when you look at yourself. And that's gonna happen because most of the point, which we'll get to in the step two, which is gonna be looking at the diet itself, but what you're gonna find is when you're doing the workouts is because you emphasize too much on the workout itself, thinking the more time you spend in the gym, the more you break down your muscle tissue, you think that the bigger you're going to build. And that's where is a massive flaw, and that's where I failed myself, and that's why regularly I never gained any results. So what I'm gonna give you with this tip right now is making sure when you're doing your workouts, you don't need to be training more than at least 40 to 45 minutes when you're working on this muscular training, because you need to understand that most of our carbohydrate source is the main energy use that we need to build our muscle when we break down and it takes around about that 45 minutes of strength training to actually deplete that from your body so when you are training any longer all you're going to find is that actually eating into your muscle tissue a lot more so you're actually burning way too many calories at that time as well so that's another impact that you're going to find is why you can't gain weight is because you're actually burning way too much calories you need to effectively spend time in the gym where you're only working sufficiently for around 40 to 45 minutes breaking down muscle tissue and not expending too much calories because that's another thing that you're going to find very difficult if you're expending too much you're already a person with a faster metabolism so you're only cutting into your maintenance calories and obviously further adding calories that you burn more which makes it much more difficult you to actually consume enough food as well to pack on that muscle mass saying that let's move on to crucial fix number two now we're going to talk about your diet this is a big one because this is one of the biggest upsets that I had through my training because most of the time, like I said, I focus mainly on the workouts myself and pushing hard and day to day. I, when you're going even five, six days a week in the gym and really focusing too much on the weight training itself and don't realize how much of the diet is important to actually build that muscle mass. But here's another problem right now. You may also find that you are eating enough food. You think you're eating so much day to day and you're having really big meals and consuming so much calories way than you've ever done before and you're still not packing on your muscle 
you're still not packing on this size, you actually feel that you might still lose some size. And this again is an indicator between both when I was talking about the first crucial fix here of the workout because you may be expending way too many calories, not just your maintenance calories, but on top of that, you're expending too much calories because you're working out way too much in the gym. So it's gonna make it difficult you to consume even though you consume many, many calories and you think I eat so much, uh, you're just shoving loads of food down, big portions down, uh, three, four times a day, you're gonna still find that you don't gain any mass because you are burning essentially a load of calories 24 seven around the clock because you are working with muscle. So when your muscle is breaking down, you're also feeding it. Like I said, it's a 24 hour seven process where your muscles break down and they do need to feed to grow. And you may have tried that you find that you're overfeeding yourself, you start feeling like you know, you're getting cramped, you get stomach ache, you actually just feel sick, you just don't ever wanna eat again. And that's the thing that can happen when you get stuck in that phase. And it doesn't have to be like that. It can actually be very simple. And you just need to know the types of foods that you need to eat and the type of diet in general you just need to follow. So I would recommend generally moving away from your sort of three to four, trying to pack on some really heavy meals. You need to actually go down to reasonable size portion meals. And I do recommend trying to fit at least six meals a day it sounds like a lot, but you'll find that it's much more manageable just having to plan out your six meals and making sure that they're not huge and you're not actually filling yourself out to the point where you just physically, like, physically can't eat anymore. And you'll also find that your body needs to actually use these calories. So when you're overfeeding your body in just a, in shorter settings, what you're then finding is that the amount of calories that your body wants to take in is not gonna exactly take in just because you've overfed yourself. Our body is only going to burn the amount it needs and how much carbohydrate, proteins and fats it requires and the rest is generally excreted through our body. So this is where it becomes also a problem to actually gain that mass. So you are better off going with the smaller meals and going for regular portions so you're eating roughly about six meals a day and your body will generally consume more food and your muscles will use up more nutrients and more quality food going into those muscles to really build that mass. So let's go into our last fix, which is gonna be cardio. How much cardio should you use? Should you do it at all? What type of cardio should you be doing? So this was a massive one and it played such a big role also me to build that muscle mass because cardio is something I've always seen is that it needs to be implemented into a program because it's good for your heart. It helps you lean out to really strip off any extra body fat. So you're going into a lower body fat percentage at the same time, especially when you're trying to build some muscle and some mass. But little did I know, the way I was doing it was incorrect. And that's what put me in a situation where I was stuck because I always found that doing the cardio, especially in a steady state form, the way I used to do it, whether you're doing about half an hour, going for a 45 minute or plus run, what's gonna happen is that you're just burning constant calories. These calories are not going towards your muscle and your mass. You're just generally burning calories. And that was a big problem because I found it very difficult, even with my weight training program and my diet, to build muscle mass, that it would always make me fall short. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I will find my calorie deficit is still lower than the requirements for me to build my muscle and my mass. So what I want you to do when you're implementing your cardio into your routine, make sure that you make it very, very short. Because the only reason you want cardio is for a good heart and just build that stamina. And to do that, you don't need to do anything more than roughly 10 to 15 minutes of cardio. You don't wanna go into a state of steady state burning. Because when you go into that zone, what you're gonna realize is that your body actually uses up carbohydrates, it uses up some muscle breakdown. And that is a problem because they're actually gonna make you smaller. So really you're eating up, you're eating into your muscle when you're doing too much cardio. So that's what you want to bring back, make it a lot shorter. So you want to do your cardio in a space of time before that zone kicks in. And so you want to be working out around about 10 to 15 minutes and make it more of a hit cardio than a steady state. So guys, I recommend you taking these three fixes that I just went through and start implementing them into your day to day. You will start to see some results and really seeing a change to your body and start developing, getting broader, and it will make a real big difference just by adding these three things that I've just talked about. 
It will take more than that because you need to justify the type of training, the type of diet, and still in the ways of what you need to do and continuous progressions on your path to actually make sure that you're gonna be successful in gaining your muscle mass and really creating that amazing body that you're trying to achieve. But it's not gonna be that easy and it's not just that you're gonna need consistency because I've been there, it's not just the consistency, it's actually doing the right things that you need to do. So you can go ahead and look for all the information out there. It is available to you, but I just make things a lot more simpler. So if you went down below and click the link below, this will let me help you out step by step and actually making things a lot more easier for you and taking you on the right path, making sure that you don't have to go to the time I spent and making those mistakes and start your muscle building journey today.